Hello everybody and welcome back to the step four video for our research project. Before we get started with this, I just wanted to address some of the comments and suggestions that you all gave me uh, when I asked you the other day what I could do to increase my subscribers for my YouTube channel. Uh, so I want to say thank you to everybody who gave me a creative suggestion. One common suggestion I got was to create an intro and an outro for my videos. And while I haven't had the time to put that together yet, it is something that I'm planning on doing. The other great suggestion I got was to include some corny jokes in the videos, because who doesn't love corny jokes? So I've got one for you today. Why did the golfer wear an extra pair of pants? Hmm. In case he got a hole in one. Get it? Oh, beautiful. Okay, what we're going to be doing today is creating a research question. In order to do that, let's click on this link here, which will bring us to a Google Doc. Go ahead and open that Google Doc in its own tab. Once it opens up, we have some directions right here that we need to follow. Click on File and select Make a Copy. Go up here to File and down to Make a Copy. Now it says Save the Document in your Research 2020 folder. So you're going to click here, and everybody's Google Drive is set up a little differently. Mine, you'll see, has tons of different folders in it. But I want to find the one that is specifically for this class and this project, Greg Person Research 2020. And select. Okay. And then I want to make sure to click this box here, share it with the same people. That way, I will be able to access it and click OK. Add your name, the date, and the class period to the top of the document. So right up here, go ahead and put in my name. Today's date, which as I'm recording the video, is February 6th. And the class period, whatever class period that might be, let's say it's class period number one. Okay, I'm going to read through this document and there's some information to fill out. A strong research question should be opinion-based, not fact-based. Begin with how or why. Be clearly connected to your topic. Be something you can find information on. And be interesting or engaging. Using this information, these criteria up here, tell me if each of the following research questions are strong or weak. I'm just going to read these example research questions, compare it to these criteria, and see if it's strong meaning it, it does all these things, or if it's weak, it's missing one or more, and then explain why. So if my topic was Gandhi, and my research question was, what is a nonviolent protest? That is going to be weak, because it is fact-based, right? See, the first criteria, opinion-based. That's something that we could answer in one quick sentence. And it's something that's not really specific to the topic, okay? Remember, a good research question should begin with how or why. In this next example, the Russian Revolution. When did the Russian Revolution begin? This is also going to be weak because, once again, it is fact-based. It does connect with the topic, but it does not begin with how or why. Okay? This third example, though, is going to be a little bit better. If my topic was the Russian Revolution, and my research question was, why did the Russian Revolution begin? This is going to be a strong question. Okay, It is something that is clearly connected to the topic, begins with how or why, in this case why. It is opinion-based, and it's interesting something that we could look into, find some information, and it would actually make for a good research project. Okay, So your task is to continue to look at these examples I created and tell me whether these questions are weak or strong and why. Once you're done with that, on the second page, you're going to tell me again what your topic is and come up with your own research question, something that you want to find an answer to. So at this point, you already have your topic. Now we need to figure out the question that you're going to try to answer. Remember that it needs to be a strong research question, meaning it needs to meet all of these criteria up here. So you'll come up with your question, tell me why it's strong. All right? 
then you just want to verify that your work is actually in the correct spot in your Google Drive. So we'll go back to our Google Drive. And if I go to my drive here, let's see. I need my Greg Person Research 2020 folder right there. And here's the doc. So I verified after filling it out that yes, it is in the correct spot. It's being shared with the teacher and I'm all set to go. Nice work with step four, everybody. And remember, if you want me to drop another banger like this one, slap that like and hit the subscribe button.